Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to test engraving leather on our Montport laser. For our leather project today, we're going to go ahead and create a bookmark, a nice leather bookmark for you. So what are we going to use today to do that? We're going to create the design in Inkscape, and then we're going to go ahead and make it usable for our laser engraver using Lightburn. Sounds like a plan. So let's get to it. We'll go ahead and open up Inkscape, and we can use a text and font tool to add words to our design. Now I can use the selection tool to resize our text. From here I can go to the text and font tab and change our font and the font size. And I'll copy and paste it so I can add more text, and I'll just adjust what it says. Now I can roughly move everything to place. I'll use the Bezier tool to create a custom tree design. I'll click points where I want there to be a curve. Once I pressed enter, it just showed up as a fill, so I'll press shift and a color to get a stroke, and X to get rid of the fill. In the fill and stroke tab, I'll go to stroke style to adjust the width of the line. I'll use the Bezier tool to refine my design. Now I want to copy and paste this line, and I want to go to object and flip horizontal. So now I have a symmetrical trunk of a tree. I'll go back to the Bezier tool to create the branches. I'll select everything and change the width of the strokes. Using the circle tool, I'll create ovals for the leaves. I'll select a color to give it a fill and shift X to get rid of the stroke. I'm going to my document properties to change the color of the background just to see my design a bit better. And I'll continue adjusting my leaf and copy and paste it to add more. I'm adjusting my text and I want to go back to the text and font tool to adjust some of the properties. I finished my design so now I can save it going to file save as and I want to save it as an SVG. So now that we're in Lightburn we can go ahead and import the SVG we made in Inkscape. For some reason it imported really small, but that's really not a problem. We can just drag it out to make it bigger and resize it as needed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the outline of our bookmark. Just use a rectangle tool and then we'll go ahead and enter the dimensions that we want it. And we said 2.5 by 6. Now what we want to do here is we want to make a little loop here that we can put a hole so that we can tie like a ribbon or a strip of leather or something in there. So in order to do that we're going to go ahead and use the circle tool and we'll make that three quarters of an inch. We'll use our selector tool and get this kind of centered up. And then we want to poke a hole through it for us to tie something in there. We'll do a quarter inch. Shift and hit the circles, and then I'm going to hit this little target tool, which will align it to the center. And just like that, it's perfectly in the center. And now I'm going to select all three shapes, and I'm going to align everything to the center. Now what I want to do, in order to get rid of this line here and this line here, so I'm going to select both of these objects, and I'm going to hit this tool right here, and then that's going to be the shape of our bookmark. So now we're going to drag our SVG image of our design, put it right there. And we want to make it as big as possible so it's more legible when reading it. That looks good there. And we're going to align it to center. So now we need to set everything up in our layers. So we want this here will be our line layer. We want that to be the last thing. But we do need to set up our speed and power. And because this is going to be cutting through the leather, we need to make sure we're growing slow and at high power. 685%. And every laser will be different for how your settings need to look. Yeah, this may not work for us, but we'll just have to redo it before we move the object. But I'm going to do three passes on this just to be sure we cut all the way through. So now you can see that it imported with two separate layers of the leaves and the stems of the tree. You can see they're slightly different colors. And we do want them in different layers because we want the leaves to fill in. Also, we want the words to fill in. So we want to ungroup this here. So we're going to hit this little thing here. And now when we select on one, you can see it ungrouped everything. So we'll just do the words on its own layer. And then we're going to want this here on its own layer. And it already is. We're just going to change that to fill. 
we just need to change the speed on this one because we don't want it to cut through here. So we're going to go ahead and adjust this. So the way we have this set up is layer one, which will be the stems of the tree is going to be a line cut and it's going to go a little bit faster uh, so it doesn't cut all the way through because we don't want that and then it's going to do the leaves fill that in with a normal engrave and then it's going to fill in the words and then finally last it's going to cut out the shape so let's see what this looks like in the preview pretty good should we go ahead and engrave it let's go engrave it I really like the results and I think it turned out really cool, but what are some of the improvements we can do? Well, first of all, we can always refine our laser settings so we don't get as much burning along the edges. But also we need to figure out a good leather conditioner because I intended to make this kind of look like an old timey leather bookmark or like a leather bound book. And I kind of want, you know, that darker brown or orange look, but we don't really use leather normally or we haven't gotten into leather making uh, type projects so we need to do some research as to finding a good uh, leather conditioner so if you got any suggestions let us know anyways thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please like it if you liked it like it subscribe if you enjoy our content subscribe and turn on those notifications so you get reminded every single time we post a video stay crafty and be happy bye